In today's video, we're going to survey and briefly summarize the book of Habakkuk. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around to the end. As for the author, Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 1 identifies the book of Habakkuk as an oracle from the prophet Habakkuk. As for the date of writing, the book of Habakkuk was likely written between 610 and 605 BC. Now, the purpose of writing. The prophet Habakkuk decries the sins of Judah, but grapples with the fact that God's chosen people will suffer at the hands of enemies even more wicked than they. God answers Habakkuk's questions, resulting in continuing faith in God's wisdom, sovereignty, and salvation. Here are some key verses. How long, O Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Or cry out to you, violence, but you do not save? Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed, for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if I told you. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 12. O Lord, are you not from everlasting? My God, my Holy One, we will not die. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 through 4. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation waits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and not delay. See, he is puffed up. His desires are not upright, but the righteous will live by his faith. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 20. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, O Lord. Renew them in our day. In our time, make them known. In wrath, remember mercy. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Here's a brief summary. The book of Habakkuk begins with Habakkuk crying out to God for an answer to why God's chosen people are allowed to suffer in their captivity. Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. The Lord gives his answer to Habakkuk, essentially stating, You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 5 through 11. Habakkuk then follows up by saying, Okay, you are God, but still tell me more about why this is happening. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 17 through chapter 2, verse 1. God then answers him again and gives him more information, then tells the earth to be silent before him. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 through 20. Then Habakkuk writes a prayer, expressing his strong faith in God, even through these trials. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 1 through 19. As for foreshadowings, the Apostle Paul quotes Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4 on two different occasions, Romans chapter 1, verse 17, and Galatians chapter 3, verse 11, to reiterate the doctrine of justification by faith. The faith that is the gift of God and available through Christ is at once a faith that saves and a faith that sustains throughout life. We attain eternal life by faith, and we live the Christian life by the same faith. Unlike the proud in the beginning of the verse, whose soul is not right within him and whose desires are not upright, but we, who are made righteous by faith in Christ, are made completely righteous because he has exchanged his perfect righteousness for our sin, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, and has enabled us to live by faith. Now for some practical application. The application to the reader of Habakkuk is that it is permissible to question what God is doing, although with respect and reverence. Sometimes it is not evident to us what is going on, especially if we are thrown into suffering for a period of time, or if it seems our enemies are prospering while we are just barely getting by. The book of Habakkuk affirms that God is a sovereign, omnipotent God who has all things under control. We just need to be still and know he is at work. He is who he says he is and does keep his promises. He will punish the wicked. Even when we cannot see it, he is still on the throne of the universe. We need to stay focused on this. 
The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. Enabling us to go on the heights is taking us to the higher places with him where we are set apart from the world. Sometimes the way we have to go to get us there is through suffering and sorrow. But if we rest in him and trust him, we come out where he wants us. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more good content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.